Hey, this is Savvy Nick, and today we'll go through and set a static IP address in Ubuntu 16.04. We'll start off by opening up a terminal. You can do that by hitting Control Alt T, and you should get a pop up. And now you have terminal open. And first, we're going to go ahead and look up what network interfaces we have available. We can do this by typing in ifconfig. And we can see here I have this ENP0S3 network interface available. It currently has an INET address or an IP address of 10.0.2.15 and we're going to go ahead and change that. So now we're going to open up a file known as the network interfaces file. Go ahead and type in sudo vim etsy network interfaces. This will open up the interfaces file. You'll notice two lines already in here. Go ahead and don't mind those. Just go ahead to the bottom and we'll insert a new line here. This file contains your network settings and currently doesn't have anything in it. The default network setting is to go ahead and use DHCP with your interfaces. Therefore, they aren't really statically defined. Instead, they just grab an IP address from a router or a gateway on your network. In here, we'll go ahead and add a statically defined IP address for a particular interface. So as I said earlier, to make note of what interface you want to go ahead and edit, we're going to go ahead and type in auto and then that interface's name. So in my case, ENP0S3. And then we're going to type in I face, stands for interface, ENP0S3, I net static, press enter. That just defines the ENP0S3 as a static interface. Then we go ahead and type in what address we want to use for that static interface. So in my case, I want to change it to 192.168.1, let's say 10. Then my gateway is going to be whatever router or gateway I have on my network, if I have one. Let's just type in 192.168.1.1, that's usually the default. The next thing that comes is the subnet, or as they call it, net mask. 255.255.255.0 for me. And finally, if we want to go ahead and put in some DNS name servers, we can do that here by doing DNS dash name servers. And I'm just going to go ahead and put Google's domain name servers on here. So 8888.8.4.4. Go ahead and save and exit at this point. And after you went ahead and saved and exited out of your network interfaces file, go ahead and reboot your computer. I find it the easiest way. So we'll just do sudo reboot. And once you're finished rebooting, go ahead and open up a terminal again. Control Alt T for shortcut. Type in ifconfig. And let's go ahead and confirm that our IP address changed. And you can see now the ENP0S3 interface is a static IP address. And it says 192.168.1.10. That's what we chose to use. And then we can see our ma subnet mask here. And it doesn't really tell you the gateway in here. You can probably find a different command in order to get you that. And you're done. Just remember, if anything else has the same IP address that you're trying to statically define to your interface, it will have an IP address conflict. So make sure before you go ahead and assign a static IP address that that IP address doesn't already exist on the network. I went ahead and supplied some more information in the description below. If you like this guide, please comment, like, and subscribe below. If you got any questions or suggestions, please feel free to go ahead and put them also in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.